Hey, what's good, y'all? Got another vlog video that I wanted to do. And I'm not trying to take too long with this one. But I just wanted to get into um, the... Jeez. Oh, Lately, what we've been hearing about what's going on across the waters... More wars going on. More people getting killed over it. And with... All the battles that we face on a daily basis. A lack of communication. Ego tripping. That just... It just feels like if it ain't one thing... It's another that the more conflicts there are, the worse things get. And then we start to wonder, when is this ever going to end? When is this going to end? Because it always seemed like at this point in time, we had to continue to brace ourselves for things like this to happen. It's like at this point, we expect it to happen. Have we become desensitized to that now? Or am I just using that word loosely? Because it seems like it's commonplace at this point that we tend to get more news on what's going on in terms of what's going on, in terms of what's going on across the seas that we're getting more wars happening. And I'm like, why? Why is that happening? How many times do we have to deal with disagreements that becomes so much more than that? Because when things escalate, we start to worry about the worst worst case scenario, the worst that can happen. Because then, if it happens there, it could happen anywhere. You know, the second we start thinking that, it starts to feel like it's never ending. It's always an ongoing war going on. There's always something brewing to start coming up to the surface and then those of us who get caught in the middle of that now we gotta have a conversation about it there's going to be comments made there's going to be debates on these discussions on these factors that's been going on here and I'm like jeez when is this gonna end those of us who are asking that question like when is all of this gonna end when are these battles, these wars, these lack of communication scenarios, is, when is this going to stop? Because granted, we have our differences, but can we come to an agreement on something that doesn't cause potential catastrophe everywhere? And given the fact that I'm talking about this the way that I am, uh, you pretty much got the gist of what's going on out there. If you know, you know. You know, I don't necessarily have to get into the specifics of it all because we're going to continue to get the news on it, the feeds on that, through the media, through social media. There's, there's going to be conversations about it. And I know that there would be a point where there are those of us who feel like we just want to turn our brains off from that and we want to escape from that. So we try to find outlets that are possible for us to not think about this every day and think of the worst things that could possibly happen, especially if we get caught up in the middle of it. As if the world... Was it crazy enough? It just gets crazier by the day. And this is post-pandemic. Things have gotten worse. But... It sucks to even say that because at the end of the day, this is the end result of what we're dealing with. When it comes to lack of communication, ego tripping... Um...
disagreements. For all it is to start boiling up and spilling onto the surface like this, amongst other things that we're dealing with. It's like how many more are going to keep springing up until we actually find solutions to these situations, to these problems, to these issues that we deal with. Because it gets frustrated to know that even when we try, it's like we're not trying hard enough. Because the problems tend to be more active than the solutions are. When is there going to be a time that the opposite happens? Yeah, I know it's not an overnight thing. It takes time to process what solutions we can find towards them. But when is there going to be a time that the opposite, the flip side of it happens? That we get more of the positive effect that should be happening in the first place. Try to turn things around for the better. Uh, get people to see the potential in the betterment of humankind, of humanity. People. And then, of course, when we get into the politics of it all, and at this point, for me, politics is nothing but BS right now. It's nothing but BS. It's been that way. It's just that it took some time for me to come to that realization. But ever since then, it's like, even for politics to get involved, it's like, do, do, we, do we even care anymore? I mean, sure, there's still people who do. But I've gotten to the point where I lost faith in that. Because there was a time when I thought that if I were to cast in my vote and hoping for something better to come, now I'm thinking, like, who's to say that the next person that gets in the office is, um, who's to say that the next person that gets in the office isn't worse than the person that we had previously? Or try to make that one the lesser of two evils type of thing. I can't even trust politicians to hold on to their word in terms of what they say in terms of trying to make things better. I'm not just saying for this country. I'm talking about those around the world too. I'm talking about governments around the world as well. You know, the whole thing of having a government is supposed to be about order, right? It's supposed to be about order. It's supposed to be about uh, trying to get a handle on civilization as a whole, society as a whole. But even they can't get a grip on things. At this point, things have been loose. It's been loose. And I, I just feel like right now, for everything that we're dealing with, for all the disagreements, and miscommunication. If we don't find solutions soon, and things like this, all of this, amongst many other things, continue to spring up the way that they do, it's just going to continue to be nothing but problems. But it's people like myself who want to be able to have a voice and speak on these matters and try to get a better understanding of how there could be solutions to these issues. I'm only speaking about this in general because it's too much to go into. But because we got all the information we need, it's just a matter of 
who do we believe? Who do we trust? And how much further do we have to dig in order to find the truth? With that being said, I'm just going to leave y'all with that. Be a part of the solution, not the problem. That saying will only come true if there's actually solutions to them. When is the flip side of this going to happen? The more positive effect to come out of all of this? Only time will tell. But we'll just have to see. This is Blue Flames the Poet. And I'm out.